By energizing the Sea Snake push cable with the signal from a rigid transmitter, you can follow the cable out to the camera's inline transmitter, or SOND, using a rigid receiver. Depending on your camera, the SOND is located either inside or just behind the camera head. When the SOND is activated, it transmits a signal that can be precisely pinpointed with your receiver. When you're ready to trace the Sea Snake push cable out to the camera head, connect one lead of your rigid transmitter to the ground stake and connect the other lead to the transmitter clip on terminal. Activate the camera's sound, then turn the line transmitter on and select your desired frequency. We found that 8 kHz and 33 kHz work well in most cases. Turn your receiver on and select a line tracing frequency to match the transmitter. Now you can trace the Sea Snake push cable just as you would any other buried conductor. If you're not getting a usable signal on the push cable, try running some water in the line. Water can lower the resistance of the locating circuit, resulting in more current flow and a stronger signal, especially when using the inductive clamp. When you're tracing, Keep an eye on the receiver's signal reading. When the signal reading drops suddenly, you've walked past the camera head. At this point, you can switch to SOND mode and locate the camera's position underground. For detailed information on locating SONDs and tracing lines, refer to the operator manuals and training videos included with your rigid locating equipment. If your transmitter is not equipped with a clip-on terminal, or if you're in a situation where you can't ground the transmitter's lead, you can energize the push cable with a rigid inductive clamp. When you're ready to locate the camera head, coil several turns of the Sea Snake system cable on the camera reel and place the inductive clamp's jaws through the coil. Connect the inductive clamp to the transmitter, turn the transmitter on, and set it to 33 kilohertz. Activate the camera sound. Turn your receiver on and set it to 33 kilohertz line trace mode. Now you can trace the line out to the camera head, just as you would if you had connected directly to the monitor's clip-on terminal.